open up the grate. Pickpocketing? Are you serious? How long is it gonna be till you get caught, James? Despite the fact that I'm your uncle and promised your father I'd look after you, I'm tired of catching you like a portside prostitute at the police station. Think of your mother, you dunce. Actually, she's who I was thinking about. Since the arrival of refugees in the city, the work situation has become even worse. At least father brought money before. A lot. Then after he was gone, my mother went to work here and there. Things became a bit harder, of course, but we were making ends meet. And you really helped us at that time. Then all this shit happened to Cuba and refugees. Well, you know better than I do. Sure, but promise me that you won't risk that much fucking wallet anymore. I have a proposal. Let's discuss it on the way to the bar. If you say so, uncle. Is this your new car? Nice stuff. May I drive? <laughs> when was the last time you drove, James? Fine. Hold the keys. I will definitely pass the interview. He was after all a friend of my father until the last day. Keep watching. I don't want you to lose all that confidence in your pants. God damn it! What the hell are your balls doing here? Tell me what you came for. See, James Santana himself came to fit into our OCG. For what it's worth, come in. Consider in, guy. Well, thank you for the honor, but my pulse-pounding pensioner let slip that you have an assignment for me. 
Slow down, Jay. Everything has its time. Now go to the hotel. For now, get some sleep and drive up to the bar tomorrow. Okay, Rodolfo, thanks for a spot in the office. Morning, Rodolfo. It's about yesterday's side hustle. I'm ready to help, so to speak. I see your eyes are burning and your hands are itching, James. Good. In short, some sons of the part Cuban prostitute hijacked my car last night. I would have figured it out myself, but your uncle and I need to cough up a couple of questions. Our guys say they saw her on the south coast near a shop with a fountain. Bring her in and don't scratch her. Matteo will help you. Nice to meet you, Jay. Let's go check out what you're good for. First, I'll introduce you to our gunsmith, Felix. He will supply you with everything you need. Hey, Felix, a baby gangster needs a barrel here. Do you have some? 
Matteo Ramiro, motherfucker. Habitual on time. I got fucking nothing left. Your guys dropped everything down. Just don't tell me you only have the lumber, Felix. Slick son of a bitch, but I'll give you a gun to boot. Is there something a bit more serious? Do you think I'm shit with stingers or machine gun belts? You better show me your shooting skill, amigo. Try to hit the target five times with your pistol. Sharpshooter! For the first time, not bad! Just aim for the head and don't fret. It wouldn't go amiss for me to learn picking the locks. It's pretty easy. Insert the pick into the hole and try to leave the pins until you hear a characteristic sound. Lock the pin in the desired position and move on to the next. When all the pins are in place, the core will rotate. Damn, your future safe breaker, James. Good luck. Thanks, Felix. Bring the car to the garage and don't scratch it, James. It's Rodolfo's car, after all. How is it? If you broke it, then you can go back to pick up wallets from the street. It's a safe in the backyard, Rodolfo. Santa Maria, Rob was right about you. You're soon to be a gangster. Here you are. You deserve it. Guy, 
You rock! At some point, I thought they would kill you. Drive me to the club later. I got a deal for you. And finally, buy yourself some good clothes. Uh, the nice shop is next to the bar. in your elderly pockets. I was not hired here as a nanny for the sons of the authorities. A cool guy calmed down. The airport is located next to the most criminal areas of Los Rivieros. Gustavo has many enemies among the enemy gangs, so I recommend you stock up on Felix's weapons and be ready for him. a bit of slaughter. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. Okay, I'll take it into account. 